Now, we will talk about the next experiment children. Now, suppose a piece of a straw or one straw is taken ok. Now, we all know the meaning of straw, the straw which is used to drink soft drinks is not it. So, we will take a straw and you know what has to be done actually uh, one wooden plank ok and take the straw. Now, cut the straw into two equal parts and one straw has to be pinned over here with the all pin and it has to be pinned in a way that it can rotate ok. It should rotate with the help of a finger if you try to rotate it should be in a condition to rotate properly ok. So, what has to be drawn one plank wooden plank is taken one straw is taken this straw is divided into two equal halves and one half is attached with the all pin on the plank. Now, what has to be done now children? The other half of the uh, this uh, straw has to be taken. The other straw, the other half of the straw has to be taken and it has to be rubbed on the uh, ball of the paper. Okay, that straw has to be rubbed on the ball of the paper. Now, when you rub the other half of the pin uh, straw. This is the other half of the straw. Okay, I will name this now. Name current sanskar. You know, it is A and this is B. Now, this are the part of one straw only. Now, this is attached with the pin over here, and this one is rubbed on with the hill on the where on the paper. Okay, it is rubbed on the paper. Now. When you bring this charged straw part near this straw ok. So, what will happen you know this one is neutral it does not has any charge it has got charge, but you when you bring this straw near it like this and you move this. So, even you know this straw part will move behind this straw are you getting my point take one wooden plank take one straw cut the straw equally into two this is one part and this is the other part. Hmm. Now, this one is the B part now B part has to be rubbed on the paper ok B part has to be rubbed on the paper and now when suppose this is a B part ok it is rubbed on the paper. Now, if I bring this straw rub the one which is which we rubbed on the paper and move it slowly you will find that straw A will also move behind this B it will rotate behind the B why children because on rubbing this straw part has developed charge ok that one is neutral it does not has any charge. So, charge one also has a capability to attract the neutral one ok. So, it will be attracted and it is going to move ok. Now, in the second part of the experiment what has to be done you know we will rub this part of the straw also to the paper. What we will do? We will rub this part of the straw also with the paper. Now, what will happen children? Same as it happened with the glass straw, same charge will be developed on both the rods. Same charge will be developed on both the rods and then what will happen children? Now, if you bring this near it and try to rotate. So, where it will go? Same charge is always repel each other. So, if you bring it closer this will go A will go far is not it. If you bring B straw near the A in the first case when only this straw B straw was rubbed on the paper. So, what was happening children A was getting attracted to B, but now when only what but now what we have done we have rubbed both the straw A and B on the paper. So, both ha both has got charged is not it. So, now when you try to bring this straw near the straw A. So, what will happen the A straw will move far and far from the straw B is not it. So, why does it happen? Why does it happen children? Because again the same thing the opposite charges what is happening? Opposite charges will attract each other and the same charges will repel each other. Here what is happening children? Here charged one is attracting neutral in the first case and then in the second case both have the same charge and so the straws are repelling each other ok. So, this one also was a very interesting experiment. 
now we will talk about that we are saying that charge is developed ok. So, what is this charge and what charge is developed and what and how it is happening children. So, we will talk about that and then we will discuss uh, about the force electrostatic force also ok. So, now children first of all what is a matter ok define matter I am talking about matter. So, how can we define matter? This is the thing which we have read in 3rd standard, 4th standard, 5th standard, 6th standard and in 7th also we know this it is a very 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 basic thing. What is matter? Matter is that which occupies space and has got mass is not it. So, anything which is around us anything children anything which is around us is matter is not it. Matter is one which occupies space and has mass ok. How do you know that everything is mass uh, having mass or everything occupies space and everything is matter take the example of the chalk I am saying that everything occupies space you put the chalks into a small cover ok you will put 3, 4, 6, 10 but a condition will come when you cannot put more chalks why right? because even the chalks are matter is not it chalks are matter and so matter occupies space and so it needs more space bigger box or it will go into another box ok. To prove that everything has uh, whatever is around us uh, occupies space even you can take the example of a balloon ok blow, blow the inflate the balloon you will feel you will find you will see that the balloon size get increased why because air is going inside that and air is also what matter is not it air also occupies space ok. Air has mass to prove this what experiment can we talk about if you take a rod ok and you hang equal uh, inflated balloons ok two balloons which are very very equal in size ok this side and this side also. You will find that this rod is straight, but when you burst this balloon what you will find that the rod moves this side why because this one is what heavy why is it heavy because air is there air has got mass is not it. So, what is matter anything which occupies space and has got mass is matter everything which is near us everything which is around us is matter ok. So, now this this uh, matter ok or these matters or this matter is made up of what children every non living thing ok every non living thing is made up of what atoms is not it every non living thing is made up of what atoms and every living thing and every living thing is made up of what every living thing is made up of cell and every non living thing is made up of what every non living thing is made up of what atom. So, we will talk about now atom what is an atom ok now this I am talking about an atom. See every substance uh, atom ok if you talk about gold, silver ok chalk everything the smallest particle is what in everything the smallest particle is what atom. One very important thing children every atom will be of different kind the constituents will be same ok whatever is present in inside one atom will be present in all the atoms, but the numbers will be different ok. The numbers will be the number of what electron protons will be different ok. So, now this is an atom inside the atom what is there children inside the atom nucleus is there ok inside the atom nucleus is there. Nucleus is made up of what protons and neutrons ok it is made up of what 
protons and neutrons. So, I will write over here nucleus ok, it is made up of what? Protons and neutrons ok. Now, this protons have positive charge on it children ok, it has got which charge? It has got positive charge on it ok and neutrons are neutral ok, neutrons are neutral understood? Now, here in the outermost orbit something is there which is revolving round and round. These are known as electrons ok, what are these? These are known as electrons and these are negatively charged particles ok. What we are talking children? We are see whatever is around us is matter. What is matter? Anything which occupies space and has got mass is what? Matter ok. Now, every matter, every matter is made up of atoms. Every living, non living thing, every living thing is made up of self and every non living thing, every non living thing is made up of what? Atoms ok. Now, we will talk about, we are talking about the structure of the atom. This is atom in the center nucleus is present, in the center nucleus is present, nucleus has got protons and neutrons in it ok. What is there? Inside the nucleus protons and neutrons are there. Now, protons are what? Protons are positively charged particles, neutrons are what? Neutrons are neutral. Neutral means it does not has any kind of charge on it ok. Now, what is electrons? Electrons are negatively charged particle which moves here in the outermost orbit ok, outermost here. Now, in an atom ok, in an atom protons are equal to electrons. Okay, protons are equal to electrons. Okay, see isotopes, isobars. That is a different thing, which uh, we will talk in some higher class. Okay, so we'll not discuss that. So protons are equal to electrons. We'll consider this and we will move. Okay, so please, if the if you know something about isobars and isotopes, but still don't think that teacher is saying that protons are always equal to electrons because I am talking about the normal in general ok. So, protons are equal to electrons means what children? Positive charge is equal to negative charge. Neutrons it do not have any charge is not it? It is neutral only. So, what is the charge on electron uh, on the atom children? See when the protons and electrons are equal say suppose there are 10 protons and 10 electrons. These are positively charged, these are negatively charged. So, what is the charge on atom? There will be no charge. Why there will be no charge? Because protons and electrons are always equal, positive charge is always equal to the negatively charged, negative charge present in the atom ok. So, this is the structure of the atom. Matter is made up of in the in uh, all everything ok, which is present around us is matter. All non living things are made up of what children? Of what? They are made up of atoms ok. So, we are talking about the structure of the atom. In an atom they always protons and electrons are equal and that is the reason it is said that atom is neutral. Atom is neutral ok. Atom is neutral that means it does not has any charge on it. It does not has any charge on it. Why it does not has any charge on it? Because number of protons and number of electrons are equal in atom and neutrons they do not have any charge ok. Now, when I am saying that electrons are passing, electrons are moving, charge is passing. So, uh, I did not say till now electrons are passing, but I am always saying charge is passing is not it. So, what is happening children? See, uh, actually here also in this transfer of electrons also I will just talk to the point will not talk in detail ok, because uh, at this stage uh, we would not be 
I won't be, you know, you won't be understand, able to understand because then you will have to talk about atomic numbers and all this thing. So, it will talk just very um, basic things, okay. So, what is happening, you know children, when two substances comes in contact with each other, okay, when two substances comes in contact with each other, so what it will happen, electrons can transfer, okay, electrons can transfer. See, protons and neutrons, forget protons and neutrons for some time, there is like there, there is no participation of protons and neutrons in electrostatic force, okay. For developing electrostatic force, there will be no role of protons and neutrons, we will talk only about electrons. So, when a glass rod, suppose I have taken a glass rod, okay, now this is a glass rod and I am rubbing to the silk, now this is the silk atom, okay. Now, what will happen, glass has developed a positively charged and the, uh, what is happening, why it has developed positively charged? Uh, children, see whenever I am saying that protons are equal to electrons in all the atoms, these number can vary, in some it will be 11, some it will be 2, some it will be 3, but the number of protons will be always equal to number of electrons, I will talk about, see I will say here yeah, protons will always be equal to electrons this number will vary. So, if we take 11 protons and 11 electrons, if 11 protons are there, 11 electrons are there, okay. It has got which charge children? Proton has got which charge? It has got positive charge and electrons has got negative charge, okay. So, in this we do not have to remember protons, okay. We will talk about electrons. Now, in an atom, when electron moves out, okay, when electrons are going out, when electrons goes out from one substance to another, means negative charge is decreasing, isn't it? Electrons are negatively charged, negative charge will decrease, so it is going to develop which charge? Proton. Here, the substance which is losing electrons, okay, the substance which gives electron to others, okay substance which is giving electrons will develop which charge children? It is going to develop what positive charge. Please remember this positive charge has nothing to do with protons and neutrons, forget protons and neutrons, just talk about electrons. Glass has positive charge because it has given electrons, it has given electrons, okay. Now what is more in this? Protons are more, see. Now, suppose 11, 11 are there, if electrons are given, so what will electrons, suppose 2 electrons are given, so or 1 is given, so what will happen, 10 electron will be here, but number of proton is 11 only, so what is more, electrons are uh, less, it has become 10 and protons are more, it has become 11, so which charge is more, positive charge is more, so positive charge will come over here, that means positive charge will come because it has given electrons, okay. Now, the substance which now talk about ebonite. Now, ebonite develops negative charge. Why electro, uh, ebonite develops negative charge? Because ebonite has taken electrons, okay. Now, suppose 11 electrons are there and somebody takes some body means sub substance, 2 electrons. So, what will happen? It will become 13 electron. So, electrons are increasing means negative charge is increasing, but proton is what? Same, it is 11 only. So, what is happening? When electron increases, negative charge will come. When electron is decreasing, then what will come? Positive charge will come, okay. I do not know what I said over here. When electrons are given, so what will happen? Negative charge will come, okay. Remember this very simple thing, when electrons are given out, okay, when glass is given, giving electrons to other substance, so it will develop positive charge. Here negative charge is there means it has taken, and you know, ebonite has taken negative charge, okay, electrons are, ebonite has what taken? Electrons. So, when electrons are taken, what is the charge on electron? Negative. So, negative charge will increase, when electrons are given, so what is, what charge is going out? 
negative charge is going out so it will develop positive charge ok. We will just gist out this in very very short every substance is made up of what every non living thing is made up of what uh, smallest part is what atom. Atom has what atom is electrically neutral that means it does not has any kind of charge on it either positive nor negative atom is neutral. Why atom is neutral to study that we know we have to study this in the center nucleus is there in the center nucleus is there in the nucleus what is there protons are there which is positively charged neutrons are there which is neutral it does not has any kind of charge on it protons has positively charged protons are positively charged and protons have positive charge. Now here what is present electrons are present it has got what charge which charge it has got negative charge. So, electrons are negatively charged. So, protons positively charged, neutrons neutral, electrons negative charge ok. Now, why uh, one more thing very important number of proton is always equal to number of electrons in any of the uh, substance ok. In any of this any, any atom any atom number of proton is equal to number of electrons ok. Now, why glass has developed positive charge because it has given electrons, electrons are negatively charged when electrons will be given. So, what will happen positive charge will come when electrons are taken. So, what charge is increasing inside negative. So, negative charge will come over here is not it. So, glass always develops when glass is rubbed on silk. So, what glass is doing children glass is giving electrons to silk ok. So, glass is going to develop with charge positive charge ok. When ebonite is rubbed on the woolen cloth. So, ebonite rod develops negative charge why because it is taking electrons. Always remember if electrons are given, given means negative charge is given. So, positive charge will be coming that substance will adhere positive charge. It has given electrons so positive charge has come over here it has taken electrons and so negative charge has come over here ok. So, that is the meaning of what I am saying that charge is passed, charge is given, charge is taken ok. Now, what is the meaning of electrostatic force children? A force which can act from the distance is not it? It is not the force for which the uh, you know we have read two types of force. One the attachment like the contact force and the non contact force. So, here electrostatic force is which kind of force it is a non contact force that means one it is that once it is developed then it will be there for some time, but electrostatic force is the weakest force children. Electrostatic force is the weakest force it is not a permanent force, but it remains for some time and for that it is uh, it is not necessary for glass to be in contact with silk it has developed positive charge. So, it will be there for some time with it. So, it is non contact force, but it is the weakest force ok. It is the weakest force ok. Now, we will talk something about this only. So, what is the what more about each other children? See I will rub this part. So, same or same charges always repel each other ok. Same charge is always repel each other. So, negative and negative repel positive and positive repel ok. What is the second one? Unlike charges ok. Unlike or opposite charges always attract each other ok, always attract each other. So, positive positive attract. What I am doing here unlike means what opposite. So, positive negative will attract each other and that is the same thing if I draw over here. So, what will happen unlike or opposite charges will always attract 
each other okay attraction and same charges either it is negative negative or it is positive positive will always repel each other okay one more point is proof children third point a charged body a charged body can attract a neutral body okay a charged body can attract a neutral body that means a body which is having charge we saw that in the example of the straw that one wooden plank was taken a straw was taken straw was cut into two equal halves straw one half of the straw was pinned up to the wooden plank now second straw when it was rubbed to the paper and brought near the straw a so what was happening children a was getting attracted to b so why it was happening one straw was rubbed where on the paper okay so it developed charge but the other one was neutral because it was not rubbed anywhere but still the charge uh, straw was attracting the neutral one isn't it why because the charge body has the power to attract the neutral body also okay now what is the conclusion of all this thing so what is matter anything which occupies space and has mass is matter now same charges always repel each other means either it is negative negative or positive positive they will always go apart from each other now unlike or opposite charges will always attract each other say positive negative charges they will always attract each other okay so one more point is over here that a charged body okay a charged body can attract can attract a neutral body okay so this is all about what uh, are the how the electrostatic force works isn't it so when uh, when that which kind of charges uh, attract each other when the charges are same so what will happen they will repel repel and when the charges are opposite they will attract a charge body has a capacity to attract the neutral body also and what is electrostatic force children a force which can act from a distance isn't it and what is all about it is all about attracting the opposite charges and uh, repelling the same charges isn't it so this is about the electrostatic force now we'll talk about the another topic